All right, here we go. Question number 12 from our college algebra homework number seven in my lab math wants us to write the system of linear equations represented by the augmented matrix right here. And notice it says use X, Y, and Z for the variables. So I've got our problem written down up here. Let's see how we're going to convert this from matrix to equations. First things first. The first column here is going to have to be the X terms. So all of these numbers, the 305, those are the coefficients of the X terms. The middle column, those are going to be the Y terms. Next we have the Z terms. And then on the other side of the augmented matrix, these are the constants. So if we look at our MyLab math, it says write the equation represented by the first row. They're going to want the first row first. And so if we write that equation, that's going to be 3x plus. Now notice that there is a 0 in place of the y. So there will be no y's, but there will be 4z equals negative 10. So that should be our first equation. And you don't have to put plus 0y. You can just leave that out. In fact, it's probably more efficient if you don't put it in there. And so there's our first equation. All right. Uh, second row. Second equation is going to be, um, let's see. We've got y minus 2z equals 14. And again, if we scroll up and look at that middle row, you can see that we have 1y, which is just y, negative 2z, and then equals 14. That's our constant. All right, so here we go. y minus 2z equals 14. So far so good? All right, third equation. 5x plus 2y plus there is no z equals 6. 5x plus 2y. I'll see that? No z equals 6. And that is how you convert an augmented matrix to a system of equations. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.